Hello students, today we are going to learn about software testing. Software testing is a very important phase in the software development life cycle. As we know, when, when we develop a software, there are, di there are different phases our software goes through. So one of them is software testing. And software testing holds a very crucial uh, importance in, the, in all those phases. So software testing is basically a method where we can access the functionality of the software program. Here basically what we do is we check the actual software matches with the expected uh, requirements of the client. So when we, uh, when we are about to develop a software, we, we have a software requirements given by the client. So when we reach to the software testing phase, we make sure that all the requirements are fulfilled given by the client. So it is a very important point we have to remember that we have to make sure that our software is developed according to the client requirements. Now, when we do all of these things with a purpose, now the main purpose of software testing is to identify if our software or our product is, has any errors or any faults or any missing requirements given by the uh, client from the client. So how do we test all these uh, faults and errors? So for that, we have different types of testings that we, we go through now. Uh, as we have gone through the introduction of software testing now one by one we will check what are the different types of uh, testings we have and how we can implement those now when we are talking about software testing there are two uh, very basic steps which we have to go through uh, which first one is verification and second one is validation now when we talk about verification the it is a the main question which we ask to our team members is that are we building the product right this is the important question which we ask to our teammates and in our group now when we are talking about uh, are we building the product right it means that we have to make sure that all the software the software is correctly implementing the specific functions now when we talk about validation the important question that we ask to ourselves is that are we building the right product now when we refer to the different sets of uh, tasks that ensure that the software that allows to build the uh, customer requirements it means that we are we are validating the software that we are building now these are the two steps that we go to go through while we are uh, uh, testing a software now these are the different types of software that we have now basically we have software uh, manual testing and uh, automation testing today we are going to only take a look on manual testing now manual testing takes place in two types that is black box testing and white box testing now in black box testing tester doesn't have the access to the source code of the source code of the uh, software that is conducted at the software interface which means that when we are talking about black box testing the tester is only going to test the ex the the external part of the uh, software not the internal logic which means that only the look and feel of your software is going to be tested and not the logical part of the software now when we talk about the white box testing here the tester is aware of the internal working of the pro product which means that it, the tester has the access to the source code and it is conducting and making sure that all the internal operations are performed according to the specifications uh, which, uh, which are given by the client. Now here the an important fun, uh, thing which we have to remember is that our software should not only be logically correct uh, but also it should be uh, very user friendly and all the people of uh, if they don't have the knowledge also they should be also able to use our software that is the main aim of building a quality product right so why we are doing software testing is because we want to build a quality product and we want to deliver a product which is user friendly and which is bug free and it can be used by anybody right so that is why we are doing software testing now moving on we uh, we have seen uh, two types of uh, how it our software testing is classified now we have to see this two uh, types of testing 
which is functional testing and non-functional testing in functional testing we check whether the application is working as per the software functional requirement or not right what do you mean by the software's functional requirements which means that if individually every module is working fine and are those modules when they are integrated together are they working as we have expected them to work so we check all these things in functional testing and in non-functional testing we check all the non-functional uh, requirements of the software which means that if is our uh, software scalable is it is it feasible to other people can the our software handle the stress when uh, many people are working on it at a same time so can it uh, will it be able to uh, handle the stress which we, the software uh, we will be giving so all these things are tested in non functional testing so these are the two types of uh, software testing how they are classified right so for the first is non functional testing and other one is functional testing moving on there are different levels of software testing as we have uh, seen in the diagram before we have seen how uh, manual testing was uh, divided uh, further classified right so we have different levels of testing also which we have to move step by step to make sure that we have built a quality product so here the first step or the first level of testing is unit testing so in unit testing is the level of testing whether tester individually test all the compute uh, components what that means that each module is tested individually so suppose if we have a software uh, if we have an application and which has a login page and a registration page so what we'll be doing is we'll be testing them individually unit wise right module wise so first the login page will be tested separately and the registration page will be tested separately next we have is integration testing so integration testing is what combining all these individual modules and then testing them as a group right so when we have uh, continuing the earlier example we have a login page and a registration page so obviously first we have to register uh, the customer will register uh, himself and after registration only he will be able to log in right so we will be checking so we will be checking that is the customer in being able to you know register himself correctly and are those credentials he is able to log in with them correctly we'll be checking all those things here so individually if the pro components and the modules are working fine we have to check make sure that uh, when we integrate them they uh, they perform the same way right so in integration testing we we test that moving on next we have is system testing so in system testing we have to make sure that uh, the soft it is a process where a complete integrated software is tested right so the purpose of this test is to evaluate the system's compliance with the uh, specified requirements the requirements which are given by the client we have to make sure that we have to uh, build our product according to that next we have is performance testing in performance testing is basically we have to make sure that the uh, our product we have built a product which can be acceptable by the uh, our client right now why do we use software testing what are the benefits of uh, using software testing right why have why we have to uh, test our software before delivering the product right so the first one is obviously product quality right testing ensures that uh, the de uh, we deliver a high quality product right and uh, we uh, we can find out the errors and the bugs in in a very early stage of our development which can be very useful for us next is customer satisfaction obviously when we have building and we are testing the software on the go we make sure that all the software vulnerabilities and the software development phases are uh, making uh, very smooth and all the bugs are cleared on a very early stage next we next is cost effective why it is cost effective is because any project takes time and uh, also it needs money also in the long term so uh, if we are uh, rectifying all the bugs and errors in a very early stage we make we can also save our time and money in the later stages 
नेक्स्ट इज सिक्योरिटी सो ऑब्वियसली सिक्योरिटी मीन्स देर आर वी हैव वर्नेबिलिटीज फ्रॉम इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल सोर्सेज राइट सो वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट आर प्रोडक्ट इज ऑल्सो सिक्योर फ्रॉम ऑल दिज वर्नेबिलिटीज एंड वी हैव टू बिल्ड अ वेरी सिक्योर प्रोडक्ट विच कैन नॉट बी हैम्पर्ड बाई एनी एक्सटर्नल सोर्सेज सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू